Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network. MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And presented, as always, by Great Southern Bank. Great Southern Bank with more than 100 locations in six states. Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. Member FDIC. Also presented by Lyona Labor's Local 663, Building Missouri. And you're looking live at Rolla High School Gymnasium at the Lady Bulldogs and head coach Charlie Parker. Coach Parker, thanks so much for your time today. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Coach, uh, tremendous season up to this point. You still got a week left in your regular season. But uh, right now, 21-2 and two overall. Talk about uh, talk about the Lady Bulldogs this year. Um, yeah, we've had a, uh, a nice year. Um, like you said, 21-2. and two. We're undefeated in the conference right now. Um, still have three games left in the conference. Um, we uh, we lost one in the in the Carthage tournament to El Dorado Springs earlier in the year uh, by six, and we had a uh, Corey Alcorn was out that game, um, still recovering from her ACL. Uh, we didn't get her back till December. Um, we won our holiday tournament, beating a Good Grain Valley team. Uh, went into the Rogersville tournament. Uh, won all three of our games there in the Rogersville tournament. Um, then we came out, went in the Herman tournament, and our other loss came in the Herman tournament with another starter out, uh, Akela Coughlin. And, um, you know, we played Lutheran St. Charles, who was number one at the state at, at the time. Uh, we played him in the championship game and had that game actually tied with a minute to go with possession of the ball and just some things didn't go our way. And and, uh, but it was a good learning experience for us. And, you know, we played some good teams. This week's been really tough. You know, we had West Plains Tuesday night, turned around again last night and had Glendale, who was 18 and five. Both of them was 18 and five in during the week. And, you know, we battled this week. And, you know, our girls have stepped to the, up to the challenge every night and we've competed and showed a lot of grit this season. And, you know, I'm proud of where we are right now. Hey, you've won six in a row since Lutheran St. Charles uh, Tournament Championship. Uh, what do you feel right now? Uh, as a team, you're doing really well. Um, right now, I think I feel like that we're we're shooting the ball right now, probably better than we have all season. I think the last two games that we've shot shot it from the three, almost fifty percent. Um, you know, and we've hit ten threes in the last two games, and you know we're we're shooting the ball really well right now. We're sharing the ball and working the ball from side to side. Um, you know, all these girls right now, I think, is is trusting in one another, and and uh, we're one. One person might have an off night. Somebody else is picking up the slack. And, you know, they're just just overall from, from top to bottom, you know, they're they're working well with each other and and uh, coming in every night ready to really take on the next challenge. Outstanding. Well, this is a Chevrolet of the Ozarks uh, Athlete of the Week segment presented by the Missouri State Highway Patrol. And uh, on behalf of the Highway Patrol and Chevrolet of the Ozarks, congratulations for being named uh, – Athletes of the Week, the Rolla Lady Bulldogs. Coach, you can uh, start there next to you, kind of introduce uh, that, the young lady sitting next to you, and we'll visit with her. Okay. Um, she may have to get her hair fixed first <laughs> right here. But uh, um, the first lady next to me right here in the blue, this is Willow Gideon. Uh, she's a senior uh, for us. Um, you know, she's, she's one of my captains, uh, been a four-year starter. She's committed next year to play at Washburn University. Um, she's just a just a tremendous player, and uh, it's Willow Gideon right here. Willow, how are you today? Good. All right. Tell us first a little bit about uh, your role and responsibilities on the team. What position do you play, and what do you feel like your role is? I'm a shooting guard, and I feel like I just shoot the ball a lot. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have a favorite spot on the floor? You don't have to tell me what it is, but do you have a favorite spot on the floor you enjoy shooting from? <laughs> Uh, the three from straight on. <laughs> okay. Coming into this season, you know, as you look at your schedule, did, did you have any personal or team goals maybe that uh, that you were looking forward to maybe uh, uh, attaining? I want to win districts this year because <laughs> we have lost in the championship every year I've been in high school. And I wanted to beat West Plains, and we did that. So, As you look back uh, you know, on your high school career, are there games that stand out to you that – that you'd like to maybe go play again. Maybe it was a big win. Maybe it was a game that got away from you that you feel like you should have won. Uh, or maybe it was a game you had a great game. Are there games you look back on and say, man, I'd like to go do that again? Uh, yeah, I'd like to replay the district championship last year. <laughs> and 
uh, beating Kickapoo my freshman year was really fun also. So probably those two. Outstanding. And you've made your decision for next year at Washburn University. And tell us a little bit about what, what went into that and, and why Washburn? Um, I felt really comfortable there. All the coaches were super inviting, and they want to keep me as a shooter, and I liked that. So, Very good. Any particular area of study that you're looking at? Business or psychology? I don't know yet. Well, if you get a business degree, you might as well get a psychology degree with it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, Willow, uh, congratulations on behalf of Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks and the Missouri State Highway Patrol. Thank you. <laughs> bet and you get to introduce the lady sitting next to you okay this is risa martin she's committed to play at evangel next year for basketball and she's been at rolla for three years now and she is our post <laughs> okay risa thank you for being part of the show today yes of course <laughs> tell, us, uh, tell us a little bit about what you perceive your role and responsibility to be. Uh, I would say this year I'm more of a post, which I'm like 5'8", so it's a little bit weird. But, um, yeah, I run more of the post spot. Every once in a while I'll shoot. I normally, whenever there's a good person to guard, I have the them. And, yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. Coming into this season, as you, as you look at your schedule, uh, we're – did you make mental check marks by games that you were looking forward to playing? Maybe you know someone on the other team. Maybe it's a, a rivalry game. Were there games coming in that you really look forward to playing? Yeah, I always look forward to Waynesville. It's, I mean, I would say not supposed to be super close, but every year it's really close, so that's always fun. West Plains, definitely a good one. This is the first time I've ever beat them, so it was really fun. And Stratford is probably my favorite. Every year that's just a great game, so. Now, you've made your decision with regards to next year uh, going to um, Evangel. What went into that decision? Um, it's close to home. Morally, that's kind of what I like. And I love the coaches. The team was really welcoming. So it was just a really great school over, all around. Well, Risa, on behalf of Chef Dealers of the Ozarks and the Missouri State Highway Patrol, congratulations. Thank you. All right. And you get to introduce the next young lady. This is Corey. Corey's been here the last two years. She's committed to go to Grandview, and she's our point guard. She's also a senior. <laughs> and, yeah. Thanks, Risa. You're welcome. Corey, tell us a little bit about uh, your roles and responsibilities on the team. Um, I would say I'm definitely one of the team's hype men. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, also, I get a ton of assists like about every game. But I love. I I would always. I'd rather get a good assist and a good bucket. So that's something I go by. So, yeah. What do you do? Let's say you're playing tonight. Uh, what do you do to kind of get? Well, you actually are playing tonight. <laughs> what What are you doing during the day to kind of get prepared uh, for the game? Yeah. I just get I get so nervous, and then if we like are like we're talking about it as a team, I'm always like we're gonna lose because it's just like my thing. Like I gotta say we're gonna lose because then I will win. It's just like I don't know, you know. But so you have like, a superstition. Yes. Uh, so you're nervous. I get really nervous. Yeah. More nervous before a game or right now? Uh, <laughs> before a game, but I'm pretty nervous right now. <laughs> Or you've made your decision to uh, go to attend Green. Do you tell us a little bit about that? What went into that? Um, it's pretty far away from home, and uh, it's in Iowa, so that's something I, I definitely wanted to get out of Missouri um, just for a little bit. So, And the coaches were all super nice. They're one of the first schools that, um, like, sat down and offered me and, like, wanted me to come on the campus right away. So, and, yeah. Very good. Well, Corey, on behalf of uh, – Chef Dealers of the Ozarks and uh, the Missouri State High Patrol. Congratulations for being part of the Athletes of the Week. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, Corey, you get to introduce the next young lady. Okay, this is Akela Coughlin. She came this year as a transfer. Um, she is also a point guard, shooting guard, one slash two probably. Um, yeah. Kayla, how are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm a junior. Sorry. <laughs> and, and you're a senior? No, I'm a junior. You're a junior. Okay. Tell us a little bit about uh, your roles and responsibilities on the team. Um, I help Corey out with point guard. <laughs> I'd say I'm a shooter, too. And I run the top of our defenses, most of them. So, 
All right, do you do you go into a game saying you're going to lose? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and where'd you transfer from? Uh, Newburgh, small school. Okay. I've actually been in Newburgh's gym. Tell us uh, <laughs> how you get prepared for a game. Um, I don't really like to talk to people before games. <laughs> I like to just like sit there and mind my own business. I don't want to like, I don't know, get unfocused. Okay. <laughs> your your screen is froze up, so we'll see if we can't get keep this going. But uh, can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. All right. Uh, Kayla, you got us. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Kayla, can you introduce the young lady next to you? Yeah, this is Riley Dotson. She's a freshman, so it's her first year. Also a transfer. Yeah, also a transfer. <laughs> no. She went to junior high or she came from a feeder school. She came from Salem. <laughs> yeah, but I was here in eighth grade. It doesn't matter. You're transferred. <laughs> All right, Kylie. How are you today? Good. I'm, I'm sorry, Riley. I'm, I'm, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your roles and responsibilities on the team. Um, I'm usually run like the six man, and I either try to help run point with them too, or just a shooter, or anywhere I get put. <laughs> what What are you doing to to kind of get prepared for a game? Being a freshman and getting some varsity time, what uh, what, what what do you do to get prepared? Um, I mostly just try to stay focused, and I usually listen to music and try not to get car sick on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you guys have got some bus ride, long bus rides for, for a lot of your games going into Springfield. It's a couple hours, and so it's a, a long time on a bus. What, you know, coming into this, to this season, uh, you know, were there games you were looking forward to? I know you're just a freshman. But uh, what, what what games are you looking forward to? Probably Waynesville because it's always been a rivalry, even in eighth grade. And <laughs> I knew they had, like, the number one in state, so I knew it would be a fun game. Very good. Well, Riley, congratulations on being part of uh, the Athletes of the Week segment here. And if you can introduce the, the lady sitting behind – or standing behind you. Um, this is Riley, too. <laughs> And she's a hard worker, and um, she's point guard almost, and she can play anywhere. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You do one. You do. Um, but yeah, she's a junior. All right. And she's All right. Oh, go ahead. She's a junior. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Riley, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Why don't you tell us what you what your roles and responsibilities are? Um, I'm more of just a role player. I kind of just fit in where needed. Um, I guess I can play point guard, but <laughs> that's not really my um, preferred position. I kind of am the post, but yeah. All right. What Now, what grade are you? I'm a junior. You're a junior. Has your role changed from maybe your freshman year to your junior year? Um, well, my freshman year, I didn't think I would have the opportunity to play point guard at any level. <laughs> So I guess you could say that's changed. Um, I've gotten better at shooting, and so that's also changed. Never thought I could would be able to do that. Uh, were there games coming into this season you were looking forward to? Um, always West Plains. I feel like that's always just a really big game that we always want to come out yeah. and play hard in. And the past couple of years have been um, a little rough, but <coughs> we finally got them this year. Outstanding. And again, we're There'll visiting. Be a lot of There'll be a lot of West Plains on there. We, we <laughs> yeah, actually, we don't like West Plains. We, we, we actually looked – I looked on uh, Misha's site the other day. Rolla is actually two – going into Tuesday night's game, we were two uh, two wins versus 16 losses against West Plains in our last 18 games against them. So, man, they've always had – of course, I got you know, Coach Womack. Coach Womack's a Hall of Famer. He's such a good coach. And, and uh, you know, they've always just had our number. So, we always – just one we kind of pencil in – every year to really try to step up for. Very good. Uh, and Riley, again, congratulations on behalf of uh, Chevrolet, Chevrolet of the Ozarks and the Missouri State Highway Patrol. Thank you.
Again, we're visiting with here in Season 3, Episode 38, with the Raleigh Lady Bulldogs basketball team and their head coach, Charlie Parker. And, Riley, if you can introduce the young lady standing next to you. <laughs> um, so this is Bryson Swafford, uh, one of my fellow juniors. Um, she's a really hard worker, very competitive player. Uh, she's a really good role yeah. player, can basically do anything. And, yeah, that's Show Bryson. Swafford way. Swafford, yeah. <laughs> The Swafford way? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's when you know she's locked in. She shows you the Swafford way. Yeah, the yeah. Swafford <laughs> way. Oh, God. Bryson, how are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I am good. I'm good. So tell us a little bit about uh, your roles and responsibilities on the team. Right. My role is more the Swafford way. Um, <laughs> basically, Swafford way means, oh, I'm locked in. And we're going to run anywhere. We're, we're going to drive to the basket or Every we're going to stop. Step back and shoot a three, and hopefully it goes in. Like, it's terrible, but <laughs> <laughs> kind of this is kind of vary it. Um, I love cheering on my teammates all the time. I I think I'm maybe one of the loudest. I don't know. I feel like I'm a little tone deaf, so. <laughs> right. All right. So the Swafford way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> When did that when did that come about? Is that, that she was born, that, I think. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure this was at what, like I, I think the St. James tournament. Yeah. And I said, put me in, let me show you the Swafford way. <laughs> um, I went in, shot a three, airballed it. <laughs> she said, That's the Swafford way. <laughs> but but now um, the Swafford way has improved. You know, we're not airballing as much. <laughs> we, get a, we get a couple good ones in here and there. <laughs> Very good. Well, in a Swafford way, introduce the young lady next to you. <laughs> All right. This is Mariah Watkins, one of my really good friends. Uh, she's a sophomore this year, and she's really hardworking, has really good defense. And, yeah, sometimes she can shoot. <laughs> Mariah, how are you today? Good. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about what your roles and responsibilities are. Um, I mainly do defense and point guard and sometimes shoot. <laughs> All right. What uh, has your role changed from from your freshman year to your sophomore year? No, not really. <laughs> no, not really. Sorry. <laughs> what uh, What do you do to get prepared for a game? Um, I'm really loud. I like to talk to Bison a know. lot. <laughs> and dance. Listen to music too, and dance. Oh, dance. I like she to makes dance. Makes a TikTok every day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. Were there games coming into the season you were looking forward to? West Plains. <laughs> I'll probably just stop asking that question. <laughs> Very good. Well, Bryson, introduce the lady next to you. Um, this is Riley Bell. She's a senior, and she committed to William Woods. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I didn't get the first name. Riley Bales. It's another Riley. Riley. We're full There's of three. we're full of Rileys on here. Riley's. <laughs> two, three. Okay. Well, Riley, number three. Uh, how are you today? Good. How are you? I am outstanding. So you're a senior. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your roles and responsibilities are on the team. Um, I think I'm more of a role player, and I can hear on all of these girls standing next to me, so it's fun. What do you do to get prepared for a game? Um, listen to music, try and get a nap in there, but the bus rides are always a little bit too bumpy, so <laughs> I try to relax a little bit. And uh, coming into the season, did you have any personal or, or team goals coming into the season? Um, definitely win districts, as well as Willow said. <laughs> All right. Very good. Well, Riley, uh, number three, congratulations on being part of the Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athletes of the Week and introduce the young lady standing next to you. Well, this is Brooke Bleckman. She's a junior, and she started, is it two years? Two years she started? Just see. This year she started on varsity. Brooke, how are you? I'm good. She's her other post at five foot seven. <laughs> okay. Tell us about that at five foot seven. Kind of kind of define your role and responsibilities as a post player. Well, even though I'm on the shorter end, I like to go in and guard the big girl. <laughs> and my role is more of going in and getting rebounds and fighting for the ball. So do you enjoy the physicality of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, she in foul trouble? Uh, yeah. <laughs> she actually only 
only has once or twice this year. She's been pretty good, but she likes to get in and bang with him a little bit. <laughs> Except that one game you fouled five seconds in. <laughs> and Brooke, tell us a little bit about what you do to get prepared for a game. Well, I like to get that good nap in on the bus, and then I like to go and get a Celsius before the game and power up. <laughs> power up. You say a selfie to power up? <laughs> a Celsius. A Celsius. The energy drink. Oh, okay, my, <laughs> my yeah. apologies. Selfie too. Same thing. All right. Well, very good. Well, hey, congratulations uh, to you as well for being part of the Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athletes of the Week. Thank you. And coach, uh, you've you've got your hands full. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep, I do. There's a there's a little little of everything on this squad here. So uh, the, they've been fun though. They've been we've had a fun year. Um, you know they've they've came in every day with a great attitude and, and played really hard and you know just got after it and you know they've been a fun fun group of they're right up there towards the top of one of the one of the funnest groups I've had the opportunity to coach. Yeah, I was going to say we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> you've got, you've got uh, Class 5 district coming up. You uh, uh, do you get to see those teams? I mean, a, a lot of them are fairly close to you. Have you been able to play the Camden team? Obviously, Camden team. Yeah. But- Camden and Jefferson City, we've played both of them. Um, but we're familiar with with Helias. They're in there. You know, they're really good. Had a good year. Uh, Union, we're familiar with them. Although we haven't played either one of those teams. Uh, you know, these girls, some of these girls play AAU with a lot of those girls on Flyas' team. And, you know, just, just a lot of a lot of knowledge about who they are and who they are as a player. Um, but, uh, you know, we're familiar with some of those teams in there, but the only teams out of there that we played against is Jeff City and Camden. All right. Well, outstanding. Well, Coach, I know you guys have got to get to a bus and head to Springfield uh, to take on Central, but I greatly appreciate everybody being generous with their time today. And thanks for helping set it up, Coach. Yes, thanks for having us on, guy. Bet. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com where everyone has a home field advantage. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Back after this. Are we waiting? Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. And find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Chevrolet. 